All uh, right, ministers in Scotland are so concerned about the level of alcohol abuse they're considering taking drastic action. A range of proposals is up for discussion, from setting a minimum price for alcohol to raising the age at which you can buy alcohol, raising that age to 21. Yeah, will it work though? Let's go live to Glasgow. This did it used to serve then, in an at atavistic sort of uh, sense? When someone felt threatened, if, if someone, if somebody, to lots of people who say, I get really angry over, it could be an inanimate object, it could be just something very, very small, and they'll flip a switch. That's not so healthy, is it? Because is that not sort of displaced anger, yeah. misplaced? ...this morning in a few minutes' time here on Breakfast. He's very placid in he, that particular yeah. <laughs> moment. There we are. Chris Hollins is a man who's always... Oh, so two down and three to go. They're talking about, you know, five trophies in a seat. Yes. Disaster. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's quarter to eight. Good morning. You're watching Breakfast on BBC News. The main stories this morning. You're there too. Carol Kirkwood, ever placid, has... Thank you very much, Simon. Thanks, Simon. Uh, sprained ankles, strained hamstrings and bad backs. The sort of problems you might expect to pick up on the sports field, not the dance floor. Although you did, didn't you, on Strictly? I did once. Yep. You know what it's like. They're exactly the sort of injuries which can be caused by unqualified dance teachers who push their pupils too far. Now dance teachers are being encouraged to get some training with a special safe dance certificate. Well, Yvonne Murray is at a salsa class near Basingstoke, dancing safely, we hope. Morning, Yvonne. Thank you very much. Now, the news British and Canadian scientists have announced a breakthrough in the development of stem cells, which could mean they'll no longer need to use embryos to make them. They've developed a way of reprogramming human skin cells to behave like stem cells from an embryo. The technique could eventually be used to treat diseases such as Parkinson's and cancer. Those are the main stories this morning. Here's what's coming up later in the programme. The actress Emily Blunt and Oscar-winning producer Graham King will be here to tell us about portraying the human and romantic side of the young Queen Victoria. In the office. Uh, apparently uh, Jens Lehmann during the World Cup had a piece of paper down his sock before penalties against another country. But um, uh, Having a piece of paper down his sock is one thing. Having an electronic yes. aid is another matter. I know. It, it certainly soup. does. Uh, uh, you've also hey, thanks very much, Carol. Thank you. Our next guest has been one of our best-loved actors for more than 20 years, famous for playing down-to-earth characters like Sergeant Lewis in Inspector Morse and the bricky Neville Hope in Alfie Zane Pet. But when he took part in the BBC's Who Do You Think You Are programme, he got a bit of a shock when he discovered his family had an affluent and illustrious history. We'll talk to him in just a moment. He discovered where one of his distinguished relatives lived. In Who Do You Think You Are, tonight, BBC One at 9 o'clock. Now, there was a very fitting tribute to a man who inspired children to paint and draw on TV shows for nearly 50 years before he retired in 2001. Yeah, fans of the late artist Tony Hart assembled hundreds of models of the character Morph, made famous by his programme, outside the Tate Modern in London. The event, which was organised by a group of friends on Facebook, took place yesterday, and breakfast Graham Satchel went to see it for himself. Welcome back. For many of us, Queen Victoria brings to mind images of a monarch permanently in mourning, it seems. A rather severe-looking woman, always dressed in black and spending years grieving for the husband with whom she had nine children. But a new film called The Young Victoria sheds light on her early life, showing her romantic side and her extraordinary love affair with Prince Albert. Will Emily Blunt take... Where do we get these people from? That's it for the day. <laughs> Tomorrow, Heston Blumenthal will be here to talk about his new series, Feast, and the problems with the fat duck here. The clothes yeah, yeah Geoffrey Archer explains what drew him to write about the mountain George Mallory. All that tomorrow. For now, goodbye. Now you can talk.